Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just get stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's that is doggy bone, man? Make sure y'all smash that like button, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. The grind has changed. We on the road to on the road to fifty thousand subs. Um, <clears throat> streaming tomorrow, Mutt Tourney, Xbox and PS Five. If you want to be in a tournament, comment down below. Also, we got the money CFM going. I'm not in it. I, I just put it together because Pluto love he addicted to these shits. If you want to be in the CFM, hit me up on IG. My IG is in the description below. It's a $500 payout, uh, $21 to enter, bro. So if you want in that joint, let me know. Super competitive CFM. As always, a lot of good players. So I appreciate y'all for rocking. Appreciate all the support. We're going to keep grinding these videos out, grinding up all this great content against all this great comp, bro. And I guarantee you, this video, you do not see this ending coming, bro. It's crazy. Now, everybody from the 313, put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Now, everybody from the 313, put your motherfucking hands up. Uh, uh, uh. Now, as he stands tough, notice that this man does not have his hands up. Dog probably was looking like, man, fuck you, Eminem. <laughs> Oh shit, the video, oh, my bad, y'all. I ran QB draw. <laughs> no, I did got finished watching this clip on Instagram from uh from uh 8 Mile, man, when he was battling the nigga with the tank top. But just that part just popped up in my mind, so you hear me? But what's good, Doggy Bone, man? Look, comment down below, bro, if it's that one person in Madden who just got your number. This is the dude who got my number. I'm, I'm um... Every time I, bat, I, I I play this dude, it's some weird shit happen, bro. And he just one of those individuals for me, man. And I guarantee you, if you watch this video from beginning to end, you cannot tell me you ain't you ain't you don't witness too much craziness like this, bro. Guarantee you, Paul. You cannot comment. Paul, pause the video right now and comment below. You cannot predict. The last two plays of this game. I promise you, you can't. Comment below right now, bro. I'm a cash app the winner. $52 million, man. $52 million. But yeah, he just that. He just that guy uh, for me. You know what I'm saying? Every, every time we play, straight up hell games. Very good game. I don't know who he is. Jiu-Jitsu product. Apparently, the nigga know karate. You know what I'm saying? So, but so that means I'm not finna fight you. I'm gonna go ahead and just blick you. You feel me? So I'm not even finna throw no threats your way because you 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 skilled in the art of the karate. So as soon as you, whoa, I'm gonna pretend like I'm finna whoa with you, and then I'm like, fat fat fat. You feel me? I ain't about to play no games with you, karate man. Hold them. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, Roy, your way about the spittle. But yeah, man, he just uh, he good, bro. He good. He runs dollar. Um, if y'all are anything like me, I'm so sick of playing dollar, bro. But you know what's crazy? I'm having fun on Madden though. I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've had a good time on Madden all year. You know what I'm saying? We just hit 25k, and uh, you know what's crazy, bro? I'm 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 a reflective individual, man. I just was reflecting on the U-Tub journey before the U-Tub. And then, I, I ain't going to lie to you, I got sad as hell last night. I'm going to tell you why. So, right before YouTube, before I was even thinking about YouTube, I was working at this water, at this plant. And uh, it was 2016. We had just buried my father six, seven months. No, not even six, seven months. 
we had my father died in November. Three months. It was three months since we had buried my pops. I get news that my my nephew was wilding out in the streets. Like he doing the same. He's like he's a hardy. He going crazy in the streets. So I get the word. Me and my sister we link up and we go to his court date. You know what I'm saying? He he was only 16 at the time. So we go to the juvenile court date and uh we 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 just talking to the judge trying to get her to uh, release him into our custody. So the judge releases him into our custody. And he's going to finish out the school year with my sister. And then he's going to come and stay with me afterwards. And literally, probably like two months after a month or two, police pick him up for a murder. You know what I'm saying? And when I tell y'all, bro, I cried like a baby. He was only 16. He ended up getting 40 to 60 for, premedit for premeditated murder. I cried like a baby, my boy, because it was like, damn, dog, three generations gone like that. His brother, my, uh, his his father, my brother was killed in uh, 2008. You know what I'm saying? Then my father died in 2015, and then he got the 40 to 60 in 2016, and then my oldest brother Kevin committed suicide in 2017. And then the youngest, my baby brother, Dwight, he was killed in 20, damn, 2019? I want to say, no, 2020? It was 2019, 2020. The shit just runs together so crazy. So I was just reflecting like, damn, bro, everybody gone. And I ain't running wild no more, you know what I'm saying? I done found something that I'm passionate about, which is not, which the crazy part is I'm not even super... Hold on, let me close this window. I'm not dumb passionate about YouTube. I mean, uh, Madden, as I am about the content creating and kicking it with y'all. That's where I had the most fun at. You know what I'm saying? So it's wild. You could just go from wilding out and just feeling like you headed down that path because I'm going to keep it a buck. It's part of the reason I need therapy because I fixate so much on death because I experience so much of it. You know what I'm saying? I think about it. it I have an unhealthy uh, thought process when it comes to it. Not just me personally, me dying personally, because I've gotten past that, but just how much of it I've experienced, like, like close to me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was just, I was just reflective, you know, because I, I hit 25K. So, I was happy. You know what I'm saying? I was, like, looking at the future and everything that was going, that was coming. Uh, 50k, but then I got to thinking about all the shit I done been through prior to starting YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And it was just crazy as I got cheated right there. I hate this game. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to it. Third 19, I send the pressure, right? So we coming around. I know he's going here. What I'm, I, I fake bait and get back here, bro. Fake bait, boom, get back there. I'm on the ball, but I don't, uh, I don't snatch the rock, bro. He, he gets a 18-yard a, a pickup right there. But, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? But big shout-out to y'all, man. Um, yeah, bro, it's been a it's Boy, I could write a book for real, for real, on all the shit that I done did and all the shit that I done been through. Right here, boom, he lights up. He does a good job of catching it away from the knockout. You know what I'm saying? He did a really good job right there. So, uh, I'm kind of just... Uh, expecting a lot of BS this game, honestly. You see, I got the hard flat. He motions out. I already know what combo is coming. I knew this was coming. I flat it out. Um, Slate plays it, but he doesn't play it like I want to. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, this dude just, he gives me a lot of hell, bro. Like, I loop around, boom. You know what I'm saying? Cutting down at the knees. I don't know what it is. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't know what it is. Where he gives, like, because, like I said, he's a good player. I don't know if he's on a, just a pro on the lurk account. He's a good player. But the weirdest stuff happens when we play. Like, right here, really good defense. Ugh. Hayward with the pick six. Remember, Hayward is 99 speed, y'all. Full turbo. And I get hawked down by Justina Herbert, man. Like, come on, Justina? Her birthday? With the Hulk mode? Took away a pick six, man. 
took away my pick six. There was no way in hell. Uh, Herbert 92 speed is hawking down 99 speed. You know what I'm saying? Just no way. So now I got to go get a touchdown. Y'all know how hard it is to score in the red zone in general. You know what I'm saying? But as you watch, just watch this game play, bro. And notice the wild amount of weird shit that happens in this game. I consider myself a very, very unlucky Madden player. Extremely unlucky, bro. But, nigga, this, this, this is different as I take off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get, I, I'm a, it's going, it, it, the game just crazy, man. And that's why I'm happy that I'm in such a different place in life. Because I, all, oh, all, oh, all, oh, this shit would have been towed up. All oh, this would have been towed up. Let this have been about, <coughs> bad, bad cutting, because I think he, I didn't think he was going to get that block. Let this have been about. Two years ago, three years, two years ago, three years ago, it had been holes in the drywall. I'd have broke some controllers. I remember, you know, the last time I raged and why I had to retire from raging, I had a fan in the window, bro. You know what I'm saying? Who's a nigga fan in the window? I punched the fan, punched through the fan. When I pulled my fist out, the window came back. The window pissed me off by coming out the window. Win Boy, the fan pissed me off by coming out the window. I proceeded to destroy, Hulk smash this fan in a fit of rage. And I was so, and then when I came to, I looked at it. I just smashed this bitch to like a hundred pieces. I just scooted it all in the corner because I'm like, my wife is going to be so pissed when she see this, bro. She came upstairs. And she's like, what you doing, baby? Because she was down and it's like she was gone. I think she had left and went to the store. So when she came back home, she was just downstairs. So she was like, what you doing, baby? I'm like, chilling. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to let you get back to uh, what, you, uh, what you're recording. When you're done, we can watch a movie or something. I'm like, all right. So I get done recording, and then I go to the bathroom. I come upstairs. She goes in the room. Just so happens to look in the corner, she see the the the, the, the fan smashed to a million pieces, bro. My she she said, "Baby, what happened to this fan?" I said, "It fell out the window." <laughs> that when I realized I had a problem with anger in general. Not even Madden was a uh, something that kind of triggered my anger. It wasn't the source of my anger. So I had to do a whole bunch of reflect. Look at this shit, man. Godly, I, I want to rage right now, nigga, where that fan at. Like, look, like this is just the weird stuff that I be talking about. Look at this. My knockout, he has universal coverage, and he has deep zone knockout. He goes uh, duck, duck, goose all around, dog. And don't touch him. <coughs> so, yeah, I ended up having to figure out why the hell I was so angry all the time. It took me a while, but when I finally figured it out, I'm able to just play without, like, raging. I still have, I'll have a moment where I yell, but as far as, like, rage a hole, I don't really rage a hole over this shit, bro. I, I might have a moment where I yell, you know what I'm saying? Right there, uh, shoulder press right into a uh, dog sternum, and he ends up getting three. Like, now, nah, we can really get into the Madden talk now. I feel like defensively, I played an amazing game, bro. I've been amazing defensively. I don't I feel like I haven't even been talking about this game like that. So he gets ball at the half, you know what I'm saying? So we coming out, um, he's in trips. We playing good against the run. I'm playing good against everything. It's just something about this dude, bro. Just something. Like he audible to tight. I'm not tripping. I actually would prefer you in tight. You know what I'm saying? This is tight slots, though, if I'm not mistaken. But just uh, right there, I just knew I lurked that. But just, that's why I wish I had bow and acrobat. Because acro, that's a pick. But, um, yeah, like, just the way they were lined up, it was tight slots and not um, tight or tight offset right there. He hits me with the corner route. I would much um, I would much rather play against tight instead of tight offs. I mean, trips tight in. Because trips tight in this year, I don't feel like it's good to blitz it. You know what I'm saying? Especially with high ball being so good. 
unless you're man blitzing. And y'all know I don't run man right there. We play really good defense. But he, he was really good at quick hiking. So I got caught on Romanowski. You know what I'm saying? So right here, uh, we just going to look to uh, shoot the gap on the run. If that is not there, I need to check uh, Gronk in the seams, and, which we do. And we, we, we play good defense. We get the knockout right there. I will be, if y'all see in this video, I will be picking up that Pat Willis. We just still ain't got no damn Randy Moss. I don't know what's going on. But third and one, I'm going to send the Goonies. Send the Goonies to go get, dog. He checks down in the flats. Y'all know I'm a hit stick whore, bro. Don't even say nothing in the comments, man. Y'all know, y'all know I'm a hit stick whore. Y'all know I'm going to try to do that. So I don't even want to hear it, man. Oh, y'all, right here, boom, should have been a pick. You know what I'm saying? Not by me, but if nothing, I pushed him in the stomach. He dropped the rock. Hayward, uh, snag that. But y'all know the vibes when you drop a pick, man. Uh, this is before I made the switch over to Jesse Bates, who y'all be seeing. I got rid of Poyer because I, um, I forgot to look at Poyer's traits. And when I finally looked at his traits, I seen he plays the ball in air conservative. For me personally, I like people who play the ball aggressively. I don't give it. I don't care if that means you're more prone to getting dunked on. I want somebody who chases after interceptions, bro, because that's more so my style. I don't want somebody who's gonna play it safe and knock the ball out, bro. If you get dunked on, I can live with that. But go after the rock. So right here, fourth and ten again. We've been playing great defense, as you can see. Uh, and boom, we, we get another defensive stop. Um, so I, I could just walk y'all through it right here. I knew, I know this is a corner route. <laughs> Excuse me. I know this guy's going to be on an angle because sending him to the flats does nothing on 4th and 10. You know what I'm saying? Very rarely can you hit this guy on a table route in the flats if it's no blitz and he's going to pick up 10. So I know he's going to be on something different. I know he's going to be on the corner. Um, a corner route here because that little level sale corner route is short. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like the one out of my uh, empty. Um, I'm not expecting any backside corner routes because he's going to play everything because corner routes aren't that good here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm expecting like post uh, some underneath to try to pull my user and then maybe a streak uh, from him that he may want to just throw up. So that's what I'm expecting. And then right there, I kind of get it. You know what I'm saying? The end route. The streak here, corner route. I see him breaking down, so I come down and I take that. And because he does not run a flat route, he is no longer his responsibility. So he passes him off to me, and he is headed up here to uh, help play that corner route and match. Um, one thing I keep telling a lot of y'all who try to run match. So say if you, uh, if you use the hook curl in your match. And then you blitz that user and you come hover in the gap. You do, or I hope you guys are aware, you need to put a replacement hook curl there. <coughs> if you blitz your user. Because if not, you're going to match up, you're going to mess up all the dynamics of your match coverage. You know what I'm saying? A hook seam outside third plays completely different in match coverage than just a, a seam flat in a, a third. You know what I'm saying? Right here is the bullshit. Now, nah, let's go back. Rewind it. Now, look. How often have you seen, like, you see me throw that all the time? He's caught the ball, right? A, like, he, neither of these guys have a flat zone knockout. You'll notice. Nobody lights up. Uh, when have you ever seen a 9KO at this point in the game knock a ball out? You know what I'm saying? And then not only knock out, he picks it off my goddamn hip, bro. He picks it off my hip. Now, he hadn't stopped me all game. So it was a given I was going down to get seven or three. That was a complete game changer, bro. Complete game changer. I was so mad. I was just sitting here looking at the screen like, yo, this nigga just... He just got my number for the amount of weirdness. Then he just throws this shit. He just throws it. At, he just throws it. Two people there. He just throws it. Carmichael comes down with it. Touchdown. So not only do he get the freaky deaky pick six. I mean pick. He get the BS throwing traffic. 
So I'm like, all right, it's cool. I still can go down here and take the lead. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to calm it down. I'm going to go QB draw. You know what I'm saying? And we pick up a gang of Lancia yards right here, bro. Kenny Staber out here getting dirty. You know what I'm saying? We could have got that one block right there on Durham when we had been to the crib, but I wasn't too much tripping about it. Uh, <clears throat> still felt like we was going to go down here and get seven, and then it was going to be up to us to come down here and play one more defense. Just get one more defensive stop, bro. Um, his points go him like he, he's really had to work for his points. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing has been easy. We played good defense. Boom. Hit the slant route. Uh, Odell's been amazing for me. You know what I'm saying? Especially just being 5'10", 5'11". He jump up, go get the rock. Like, he really go crazy. So, right here, I knew he was going to be blitzing five. So, I catch him in the seat. I get the separation. And, uh, like I keep telling y'all, with this play, once you, once you uh, get the separation right here, he opens up. Creates this bit of separation. We didn't get the bump, but as long as I pass lead the ball, I can click on and get away from his knockout. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we did. Uh, we clicked on, got away from the knockout. Once I'm able to get two feet down on the ground, rarely does that ball ever get knocked out on that white curl. So we score, we score like that. We score like that. You know what I'm saying? Now we just got to be able to go down here and get one more D. You feel me? One more defensive stop and we good. I'm 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 very confident that I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he hasn't been able to run. His pass, we've played his pass really well. We've played just good defense overall. Right there, he throws that a little bit late, so he's not able to uh come down with it. 10 to 24. Good defense, bro. You know what I'm saying? We on the route combos, man. <clears throat> he audibles down the bunch. I'm like, all right, I'll, let me see. Let me see what he do out of the bunchy unchy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't too much tripping. He quick psyched me again. He goes to the vertical, but we was able to man him up before he quick. Oh, uh, he didn't even quick hike before he snapped the ball. Right here, he's going back to trips. I'm like, bet. Let me check Gronk, and then I'll make my way to the middle of the field. Um, I see Gr he wanted Gronk on that post. I thought. I thought I was closer than when I was, bro. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was so much closer, and I also thought I would drive downhill on the ball, too. But right there again, blow the run up <clears throat> in the backfield. Kind of get making him feel like, you know what I'm saying, he should just completely abandon the run. Again, uh, defensively again, uh, he runs out the uh, b box, so I know what play it is. So, boom. Hickey D. Hickey D. Uh, Derwin got an amazing animation right there. I knew exactly, and I'm not, I knew exactly, because, uh, based off the play, you know what I'm saying, it's either a run or, um, damn, I can't remember the, uh, the play it was. It was a play-action play. So, whenever they do that in trips, it's when he'll leave outside the box. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why he does that, but it's a, it's a tail for trips. So, I knew what he was going to. Um, I immediately run back here. Because I man up this guy here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to worry about checking here. Um, I know he's, I was thinking he's either going to be on a corner route. And then, or I was thinking either he was going to be streaking and there was going to be a post. But either way, I could just stay in this area. And Derwin makes an amazing play on the ball. Regardless to animate. And I'm like, bet. You know what I'm saying? All I got to do is just go down here and get three. And it's GG's in the check. So right here again, we're going to go QB draw. QB draw running right has been money. You know what I'm saying? It's been it's been money, money. But we just did a terrible job. Look at John Madden. Where, where is you going, my nigga? But it's like, all right, cool. Just let me go ahead and dot up. Do what I've been doing, and, and we'll be good money. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't shown the propensity to be able to stop us yet. So right here, we're going to go with the same route combo. We step up in the pocket. We take off with the QB slide, make it an easy third and three. Right here, I was thinking, let's just go ahead and make them quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the same route combo I scored on in the first quarter. If it's not there, I'll check down to the underneath. That's all, That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, <clears throat> so right here, um, I'm thinking he's going to be in a, a, a cloud, which he was. And then we throw the pick. And, and like, all right, so look. Y'all let me know, was that a bad read or just a good play on the ball? Because look where I, when I throw it. 
This is when I throw the ball. When I press Y to throw it. He is here. He is approximately seven yards off the ball. So this is covered. You know what I'm saying? This was just a pull-up zone. His user is there. This is bracketed here and here. So this is wide open when I throw it. I don't know if it, if Kenny loaded up. Like, I didn't feel like he loaded up. But, like, when I seen it, that was an open ball. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was pass led too much. I don't know. But he covers uh, from the time on the wind up to the ball getting there. He covered seven yards, bro. So I, I wasn't even mad to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? That's just unfortunate. Like, you know, I, I mean, it's just the type of shit that happens when I play dog. I can throw that nine times out of ten, and nine times out of ten, that ball won't get picked. That was just the one time it did. And then I tried to why catch it in front, but, excuse me, he still took like a, he kind of still went upfield, and he gave up. You know what I'm saying? Too much space. That's why I like to catch it in front and just cut him off. I just wasn't able to right there. So now momentum is in his favor, regardless of what that momentum bar say, bro. Momentum is all in dog favor. Um, bad adjusties on, on me right there. And we give up a big game. But like I said, you already know um, I'm playing hella aggressive right here. I'm not going to play uh, conservative. I'm playing a little bit aggressivo. Uh, mixing in coverage, mixing in a blitz. Right there is probably the most yards he's gotten on a run all game. And I feel like at this point, he know he didn't got quite a few breaks this game. So, he probably feeling hella good right here. You know what I'm saying? So, he's probably looking to score. And I'm hoping he goes for two. But if not, uh, over time and then try to win it. In, uh, and then I'll try to win it in OT if I'm unable to get the stop. But I'm confident because I'm like, my defense has been on point. You know what I'm saying? Amazing all game right there. Good defense. Everything matched up. We doing our thing on the defense, bro. I'm not really worried about his corner. I'm like, all right, right here, Gronk is my responsibility. So I need to make sure that he's checked. I see he's on the street. He takes off with the quarterback. I really wish Reggie would have hawked him down because Reggie's 97 speed. Herbert, Her Herbert was legit running around this game like dog with 98,000 speed, bro. So right here, I want to say he audibles down to bunch. Yeah, he audibles down a bunch right here. And I'm like, all right, bet. I like my adjustments right here with bunch. You know what I'm saying? I love my adjustments until he does that. Cancels all my match principles when he motions over. So now I have to play this side because, as you can see, he wasn't going to follow. And he hits me over the top. Now, my only problem, so I already tell you, whenever it's four eligible receivers on one side, it cancels match principles. So the only thing, uh, once he cancels my match principles, I just start shading. Because you know shading and match will mess up your match if you don't know what you're doing. So you shouldn't always shade. So because he's match, canceled my match principles, I start shading to kind of protect me from the corner route. But I still, my user now has to uh, cover the, uh, the corner. So I'm breaking because I'm thinking this part of the field is going to be vulnerable. So that's where I'm breaking to. And then he runs the post. I see him match it. So I'm like, okay, we good. Then this nigga just dumbs out when he bumps into him and just starts like slow grinding up here. So he throws the ball. I see him. Pick artist, lurker, flat zone KO. I'm like, cool, he gonna animate. This nigga did nothing. And he gets the tug. That was literally like the most bad luck stuff that could have possibly happened. We met like he matched him and and the match principles were canceled. But he still matched them. And then this nigga got blocked and started slow running. So right here, nine seconds left. Ain't really much, you know what I'm saying, I can do. Just play it for overtime. Don't throw up nothing stupid that'll get us picky D, bro. So we go QB draw, and we break this shit, bro. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to see if I can take it to the crib. I run out of bounds with one second left, bro. I got my abilities. We able to uh, avoid the freeze. Perfect kick, bro. And